the way I say it, just sort of thinking more broadly, is, is that actually if we're wanting really positive developmental outcomes around sleep, so as Renee showed you, we've unpacked this, what I would argue is a completely erroneous reading of the research that says that if you don't get sleep happening well now, then you're going to compromise not only sleep habits down the track, but cognitive and behavioural development. That's, that's a real misinterpretation of the evidence actually causes parents a great deal of grief. Um, so we've unpacked that and then I say it's, it's, it's my belief um, because I'll, I'd love to demonstrate this in research but at the moment it's my belief that actually the way to get really positive sleep outcomes throughout childhood is to have sleep easy, no fuss, associated with cuddles and joy and relaxation. Um, <clears throat> that the easier we make sleep, which means letting it be driven by sleep pressure with a good setting of the circadian clock in a relaxed way if there's no real sleep problems, but the circadian clock is set by how families start the day and then driven by sleep pressure in the evenings. When that little one, we're talking older children, is nice and tired, the sleep pressure is high, then a cuddle and a story off to sleep is actually, it's easy and it's easier, it's quick. It's, it's quicker than, than having to engage night after night with, with the <coughs> sleep struggles around a little person who, I don't want you to leave the room, you know. Um, so uh, with your specific situation of a little one who really does seem to kind of get dialed up and then is, is perhaps waking because she's dialed up in the night, if you like, it seems to me that the more we can, I'm sure this is what you're doing anyway, but just keep it all relaxed and dialed down, um, without, without um, kind of great deal of worry around sleep, really. Um, uh, well, I, I certainly, I certainly think that um, rather than doing bedtime by the clock, we do get up times by the clock, and um, and then have bedtimes really relaxed and easy. So you might give it a go with story time and a cuddle and it's clear that, that, that she's just not ready and it could be because she does hear the other bigger kids having a great time out there. But if we're really relaxed about that, I think it's true that in a society that has a great deal of sleep anxiety, and I, I wouldn't presume that this is what's happening in your family but just as a little sort of segue into something that might be useful. Um, then, then our little ones start to develop this, it's like a, a bedtime aversion, you know, and, and, um, and, and in fact the, 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 the sort of worst end of it is when you really see a condition dialing up, you go anywhere near that cot or anywhere near the bed and that child really starts to dial up. So it does seem to me that the more relaxed, easy, cuddly, low fuss we can make sleep, the better overall for, for developmental outcomes.